Hello, I'm Jacob. I'm Patrick. I'm Zach. And I'm Patrick. And we're from the, the English, English International, International School of Prague. Flash memory or solid state drive is a type of computer storage like hard drives. But unlike hard drives, flash memory is a lot smaller, lighter, faster, quieter, and more resistant to physical damage than magnetic hard drives. The most common things that use SSD are memory sticks, SD cards, or sometimes as main computer memory. Now, you will find out how flash memory actually works, but before that you need to understand what transistors are. Transistors are like electronic switches. A transistor has three connections, the base, the collector, and the emitter. For a transistor to allow a current to go out of the emitter, the base needs to have a voltage applied to it. This will make the semiconductor conduct so electrons can flow across it. Next, you need to understand what basic logic gates are. Logic gates are electronic components used as a basis for all computing. There are three main types, the AND gate, the OR gate, and the NOT gate. The names are fairly self-explanatory. With the AND gate, both inputs need to be on for the output to be on. With the OR gate, either one or both inputs must be on for the output to be on. The NOT gate has only one input, and it simply inverts the signal. The floating gate transistor is a combination of logic gates and a transistor. The floating gate is insulated by a layer of silicon oxide. In order to add a charge to the floating gate, a high voltage has to be applied to the control gate so that electrons can jump through the insulating layer onto the floating gate. Writing data involves applying a high voltage of 12 volts to the control gate and 7 volts to the source. This allows electrons to jump through the insulating oxide layer onto the floating gate, giving it a negative charge. This blocks the current between the source and the control gate so the electrons remain trapped there. To erase bits from the floating gates, a magnetic field can simply be applied over an area of the floating gates. Since these fields cannot be controlled exactly, about 128 kilobytes of data must be erased at once. As amazing as flash memory may seem, it does have some major drawbacks. It is about 10 times more expensive compared to hard drives, and on average, an SSD runs for about 10 years before becoming unusable. You also cannot get SSDs with a very high capacity like hard drives. However, most of these issues are only a matter of time as technology continues to improve and amaze us.